On the daily deposit, outrage, homeless veterans, kicked out for migrants. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button like it owes you money and don't forget to smack the like button with a virtual high five. In a recent incident, as many as 20 homeless veterans in upstate New York were forced to leave hotels they were staying in to make room for incoming migrants. The veterans, who were waiting for more permanent housing options, were not given a clear reason for their eviction, but it seemed evident that it was due to the increasing number of migrants at the southern border. Sharon Tony Finch, the CEO of the Yerik Israel Tony Foundation, a nonprofit working with veterans, was notified by the veterans about their eviction. Sharon Tony Finch, who herself is a disabled veteran, started her nonprofit to raise awareness about veteran issues. She expressed her disappointment, stating that it was a clear disregard for the veterans, considering the timing of the eviction amid the ongoing border surge and the lifting of Title 42, a policy related to border control. Assemblyman Brian Marr criticized the Biden administration, Governor Hochul, and New York City officials for allowing this situation to happen. Marr described it as a total embarrassment and a slap in the face to veterans and the citizens of New York. He expressed his support for the veterans and assured them that they were not alone in this ordeal. Out of the 20 veterans affected, 15 were staying at the Crossroads Hotel in Newburgh, which had also been housing migrants recently. The remaining five veterans were staying at either the Super 8 or the Hampton Inn and Suites in Middletown. Fortunately, after the incident came to light, the veterans were relocated to another hotel in the Hudson Valley. This unfortunate situation is not limited to veterans alone. Marr mentioned that even weddings were being impacted, with hotel rooms booked for out-of-town guests being cancelled due to the influx of migrants. He also highlighted that similar incidents were happening across the country but many organizations were hesitant to speak out.